Hi, this is Mike Abney with Nitrous Express. Today I want to show you how to service a nitrous solenoid. Solenoids are an electrically activated device. When you put positive on one wire and negative on the other, it creates an electromagnetic field in this coil. That magnet pulls the plunger assembly up and allows flow to go through the solenoid. There's a seal on the end of the plunger, and if you get debris in that seal, it could cause a leak. If you do have a leak, this will show you how to take it apart and inspect it. The first thing you're going to do is loosen the nut on the top of the solenoid. Slide the magnet assembly off of the tower. Set that aside. This tower assembly needs to be screwed out of the base. You do not want to grab it on this smooth part here because you'll crush it. It's hollow. You want to screw it out with either a solenoid wrench that's specially designed to go in these two holes, or you can borrow the nut off the top of your other solenoid double nut it together with the nut that came on the solenoid you're rebuilding and screw it out that way. In this case we'll use a solenoid wrench. When you screw this out make sure you put your hand underneath it to catch the piston and the spring. Okay here's the piston that slides up and down inside the tower. In the end of the piston there's a sealing material. If you had a leak you'll possibly find some kind of debris in the sealing material. Clean the debris out and inspect the seal for any cuts. As long as there are no cuts, most likely you can reassemble it and put it back together and it'll work perfect. Slide the piston assembly back into the tower. Make sure your O-ring is still in the base of the solenoid. Screw the tower back in. Tighten it. Reinstall your magnet assembly. Reinstall the nut. At this point, you should test the solenoid. As long as there's no leaks, you'll be good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to call us. Thanks for watching.